Welcome to part 4 of the tutorial series. This time we cover weight maps. We bring up the landscaping tab and there is an option in the DTM input options um, landscape material and we select land use and water from the data we downloaded from geofabric.de link below in the description of the video the files are read from the plugin and we will see the shapes vector draw vector debug is enabled in the um, landscaping infos so we see the shapes here if we hide the landscape we see all a lot of different stylish shapes so it's fine and now we can choose a default layer forest is good landscape material is pre-selected because we selected it earlier on creation of the landscape so we can do the mapping here the different land uses which were found in the shape file are listed in the columns and um, horizontally we see the landscape layers and we can map that so the watery areas we mapped puddles and mud and yeah we have grass to grass and farmland yeah the columns are not aligned but if you hover over it you will see which column is meant on the appropriate checks box checkbox so park is also grass i think that's fine you can do it as you please or um as you want it to look like and when you hit replace the cells are loaded and then we will see the weight names are created it will take a little while and then um we can look at the result in a bit there are different areas yeah maybe if you <laughs> noticed I did this before so uh, the difference is not so um, obvious but if we double check it with the shapes in the debug mode we see it's pr it's uh, very very precise all the land uses we selected are now painted in the appropriate layer <coughs> so we can go back to our foliage type from the last tutorial and now we want to make sure it's only spawned on the areas we want it's forest so we make the other approach we exclude landscape layers this works mostly better um, I noticed that the inclusion landscape layers sometimes doesn't work like expected yeah this particular foliage tool is experimental and it's, it's yeah sometimes the result is not good also we can see another issue which can happen if the um, foliage is not spawned as we uh, intended the um, layers may might not be assigned which is also a strange issue i only uh, noticed it in unreal engine 5 because uh, the layers are drawn correctly on the landscape but they are not assigned here w for whatever reason I don't know so we reassign it here and fix the problem of um, of having foliage on areas we don't want to have foliage if this is um, <coughs> done we can re-simulate foliage and we will see that it spawned correctly only on the areas we want it so scroll down and hit the resimulate button and after a short while we will see it's only on the areas we want it we are looking at the river here full of trees well that worked well also on the riverbanks there is no forest 
as you want it. Next part of the series is finishing up our little project.